Nerd morning, everyone. So today we're going to be doing something slightly crazy. We are going to try to do restoration for this comic book. We've got a Jughead from the Archie series. It is a pretty old book, but not like the most beat up, but it definitely shows some wear. We'll go and kind of get a close up so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on here and kind of turn. The big thing what we're gonna be trying to accomplish here is like some of this stuff here, it's even just probably hard to see right there by my finger, but you've got some indents and marks and then just a lot, a lot of little rippling and shifting that's going on. And those are the types of things we're gonna try to address and we're gonna do it without any fancy equipment. We have a t-shirt, a basic ironing board, and we have an iron. And hopefully with this, we're going to be having some success in restoring this comic. So first, what we wanna make sure to do is go through and see if there are any papers that have folds or any things like this. This is really, really old paper. It's quite delicate, really. And we have a couple of ones here, it looks like, that are folded over. We'll go and try to make it so these will lay flat instead of having that fold. And what we're going to do is we're going to just use this shirt and try to insert this inside and then have this lay nice and flat and smooth on both sides. That is our position. This is something I've honestly never done and only theorized about. So we're gonna see if this works or if I'm going to destroy this comic book. So I do, I remember kind of in the spots here where I can feel there was a certain spot there that I want to make sure is there. And what we're hoping is that with like a little bit of heat and going across this, that we're going to do a similar work to what a fancy press would do um, when you go to a comic book restoration individual. Obviously, this is not going to solve every issue for a comic book. Really what we're going through here is trying to be able to get those um, rippling of the papers and we're trying to be able to deal with a little bit of the condition of the paper. Okay, we do have the shirt hopefully gonna protect the paper a little bit. Give it a little bit of steam. I've talked with some restoration people and they have used moisture as part of that process. Okay, so we have our book. We've done a light pressing using an iron. So what we're doing here is we're gonna let it sit in order to be able to have it cool to where it's like cool to the touch. Just pull this out and just kind of take a quick look here. So I think that we've done a little bit of change here. I'm seeing a little bit still here, so we might need to just let that go in with a longer heat. One of the things I'm pleased to see is nothing that we've done so far has damaged anything. And obviously there's very little change here. We're actually gonna keep this on this same side, go with a little bit more heat, a little bit more time, and see if we can get that a little bit farther. Okay, so this is going in with round two. I'm getting a little bit more steam on the shirt. And we're going to let this sit down a little bit longer. And I'm going to press down a little bit harder than I did. First round, I was being really careful. I was very nervous about what I'm doing to this book. And hopefully we're gonna see bigger transformation here. Okay, I am seeing maybe a little bit of transformation, but honestly, this is not as dramatic as I was imagining that this could be. Uh, we're gonna try this other side, try the back side. On this side, I've got a little fold here, and we do have some tearing that we're gonna have to be careful of. Put this back in, get that smoothed out, and see what difference we can make with this comic book. And this is attempt number one out of this. If you guys have ideas or things that you think would make a big difference on this type of process, put those comments below in the comment section of the video. That would be really awesome. My goal from this is essentially to try to figure out some pretty cheap 
and economic ways to be able to do restoration and uh, protection for our comic books. And this is a little bit of a crazy idea, but if it actually ends up being something beneficial, then that's a really cool thing to be able to discover. And if it turns out to be something horrible, you guys know to avoid it. Okay, we're gonna let that cool a little bit, and then we're gonna go take another quick look and see how this process is going. Okay, reaching in here, let's just take a quick look. It looks like inside, outside, not, not a dramatic, dramatic change. Let's see how those papers were. They definitely are trying to stay more flat. So rather than defaulting to folding in, I think they will default towards uh, being open now. So that is definitely an improvement. Overall, with this book, I would say this isn't a resounding victory, but it looks like it maybe could help a little bit with this. Definitely an interesting experiment. Let me know what your thoughts about this process was. And thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll put out more videos up like this. So be sure to subscribe and check out the other content out on my various links. Thanks everyone, and I'll catch you guys next time.